everyone. I'm so excited to take you to the greenhouse today so y'all can see where plants are grown, especially vegetables and fruit. We've been talking about that in class, so I'm so excited to show you how these plants are grown. This is the inside of the greenhouse. You can see all the plants hanging where they have grown everything here. The inside of the greenhouse keeps flowers warm so they'll grow faster when it's still chilly outside. These are all the herbs that they're growing inside the greenhouse too. They have so many different ones that they're growing that we picked from to grow in our own house. And on the way home, we got to see all these wild turkeys in the field and these really pretty beef cows. How cool is that? What sound does a turkey make? What sound does a turkey make? Hey everyone, we just finished our visit at the greenhouse and I wanna show you a few things that we purchased. We're gonna plant our own garden at home while we're out of school right now. And we, plant, we bought several herbs. Herbs are things you can use to flavor meals, and they come in a little container like this. And you pull them out and you plant them in the dirt. And so we got basil. Basil you can find in a lot of Italian dishes. It smells so good and sweet. It's so, so good. We got cilantro. Cilantro you can use to make salsa. We also got thyme. Thyme is a little, tiny, little leaf. And you can pull the leaves off and sprinkle them in your dishes. Here they say to put it on carrots, to season your carrots. And then the last thing we got is rosemary. Rosemary kind of looks like a little Christmas tree, and it kind of has the smell of a Christmas tree, kind of piney. And you can pull it off and you put it, you can put it on chicken or anything like that. It's really good. And so what you'll do is you'll take this pot and you'll pull the plant out of it. See there's dirt in there? You'll pull the plant out of there and you'll plant it in your container and you'll water it every day and when you're ready to use it you just come out and you just pull a little leaf off and go inside and cut it up and put it on your vegetable something else we got and this is kind of big okay is this little bush right here this bush is a blueberry bush blueberries are little blueberries i'm sure most of you know what they are and you'll see the little blooms on there already Everywhere that there's a little bloom means a blueberry is going to grow. Isn't that neat? And so we can have our own blueberries. And a fun fact I learned today when we went to the nursery was you have to have two blueberry bushes together so they'll bloom. They feed off of each other. And so I got one and you have to have two different kinds and this is the other blueberry plant. And so it's big and they're different kinds. So that's how this was a premier blueberry and this other one is a um, climax blueberry so they'll go off of each other and grow blueberries so we can come out and pick our fresh blueberries in the summertime when they bloom and we're so excited and we'll go back later on the vegetable plants weren't ready at all they're still growing there's still little seeds in the dirt and they'll come out of the little dirt just like in these and they'll start to grow just like this 
but they're not ready yet. They'll be ready um, in probably another month, they said. The fruits and vegetables will be ready. The only thing they had ready today were all these pretty herbs. They had a lot of flowers, like in the flower pots that I showed hanging. Um, and then they had some fruit bushes like this um, that are kind of hardy. They can stand the winter and all that, the cold. Um, so I'm so excited to plant these today. The boys are going to help me plant them. And we'll show, we'll send a picture when we're done planting them today.